Hey, Allison, it's going to be an interesting year ahead as we travel across the country to these crucial counties, talking to voters in real bellwether places to give us a better sense of where people are at throughout the next year. We're in Kent County right now, and let me break down for you why this is such an important place to watch. Now, back in 2016, Donald Trump did win Kent County, but he won it by a much smaller margin than Mitt Romney did in 2012. And that's partly because of the kind of Republican voter that you find here. Now, we're in Grand Rapids right now. It's the biggest city in Kent County, and it's the hometown of Gerald Ford. He's that model of the moderate, traditional Republicanism that a lot of voters here subscribe to. And Republicans that we've talked to, and I'm talking lifelong Republicans, have told us that they don't really recognize this Republican Party as the party that they grew up in, and they're feeling deeply conflicted. And that's largely because of Donald Trump. That's largely since 2016. Now, some are following in the footsteps of Representative Justin Amash. Uh, This county is also home to that congressman who uh, left the Republican Party earlier this year and is now running for re-election here as an independent. Others tell us they do still identify as Republicans, but could actually consider voting for a Democrat in 2020. That will very much depend on who that Democratic nominee is. We had a couple very interesting conversations. Take a listen. How long have you identified as a Republican? I don't anymore. As Trump was getting more and more popular, I kind of looked around and said, this is not the Republican Party that I recognize or that I want to be part of. This shift in the party, where does it all leave you? Politically homeless. How do you think the Republican Party has changed since the 2016 election? Uh, Immensely. Um, You know, I think people really wanted a change in 2016. And so they uh, felt that Trump found himself in a a great position. But then he's not really representing Republicans as they have traditionally been, more conservative uh, with issues and such. And um, I, I don't recognize the party hardly at all. When did you start to drift away from the Republican Party? I suppose around when Trump was nominated. And why is that? Trump now has the party captive, and uh, I don't think he's good for the party. And uh, I don't think uh, what the party stands for now uh, is, uh, is good for America. And these folks we talked to, they all said they're going to be watching Wednesday night's debate pretty closely to see who stands out, who interests them, and whether they might actually consider voting for one of these Democrats. And experts are saying that it's likely that if Kent County goes blue, Michigan might too. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.